Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Um, let me turn off that text, that's from yesterday. Alrighty, so today we're playing some Graves Jungle. Gonna be showing you guys what I'm doing currently. This is gonna be for the unranked to diamond on Graves video. Now, this was the second game, but it'll probably be the first game in the video. So as always, if you guys like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Also, if you're someone who watched it last season, like, yeah, this guy didn't get the diamond, he's in a new account, you'd be able to... Same account, right? We're just continuing onwards. So we've already done the placements. Last season we went 14 wins, one loss, I believe. And we're gonna just continue onwards. So yeah, I'm not uh I don't know. Some people I saw some comments on the Kindred video saying like, you know, how come you haven't done it or like don't think we won't forget or whatever nonsense uh what's being said. Just I don't have that much time guys. I'm doing a lot of different things at once. But I am doing all of these videos. Alright, so starting red, gonna be pretty standard first clear here. We're gonna look for something like red Krug Raptors into mid gank. I mean, if this Mal's Heart pushes up, it's a pretty easy gank. If he doesn't push up though, then we'll just quickly path into the. Actually, hold on. We're gonna do three camps into invade Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser. He just deserves to be invaded. Simply put. Bum, 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 bum. Beautiful stuff. Um, let me get the sprays that I need here. Nope, that's not gonna matter. Alright, that's pretty chill. Could gank mid here. Alright, it is available. We wouldn't probably get the kill, but we would get a flash, which is really good. Um, and if I was crossing over, I would actually take that, but I prefer. This is going to be an issue. I'd love it if we stopped peeing on my fucking head. Use this. No. This guy should die too. You die and get me an assist? I don't think I'm gonna get an assist. Get an assist. I'm just gonna wait anyway. Oh, he's not even gonna die. Anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Nice. Everything's looking pretty chill here. I think my Darius does not die. Uh, I think if Darius goes, actually, that guy dies. So that's excellent. Nice. We've created so much chaos. This mod is having an extremely bad game now, guys. Um, he's really just getting railed. All right, so now I'm starting Wolves here because I'm doing something a little bit uh, dynamic. Because Mordekaiser died there, right? He is now going to be really, really far away from getting back to his bot side camps. So he is going to probably walk back to these two top side camps. And in that time, I'm going to take my three bot side camps and then invade his two bot side camps that have respawned. And he's not going to be able to be there. And then I will reset and then I'll go to Grobs. Now, the only counterplay to this is if he does his two topside camps and then runs straight to Grubs, but I don't suspect he'll do that because he's really weak and he's died twice already. And player psychology would normally lead you to think that he won't do that. Then. Now, sometimes they will do that because they're tilted and inting, but I don't think that will be the case on a champion like Maud because Maud is not really seen as such an aggressive champion. If, however, it was a Kindred, I do think that they would do that uh, most times. So. You know, you gotta just be thinking about all the factors, guys. Every single possibility. Quickly wait here, boom, creeps aren't gonna see me now. Don't care that I lose stacks. Um, only thing that matters there is I don't get seen. Quickly kill this. Boom, boom. Sweep this. Pink ward, nice. Chilling. I don't mind if I do. He's in this bush? I think he's in this bush. Alright, we reset. We go here. Got flash. Oh, he took it. Okay, that's fine. 
So if we go back to what I said, what I said is still right. And this was all the right play. It's just that I then opted for a bot side play, which I didn't need to do, but I saw it. And I honestly thought this guy still wouldn't be there. He's going to get it now in hindsight. 2020 vision would say like, well, we would have liked to trade a dragon out. Completely true. Um, but I'm not too upset about this play regardless. But holy shit. What are you doing here, bro? There's just no fucking way. Nice. So I'm not hitting him there because I want to give the kill or at least give an assist to my player. Now, like, I'm giving the kill there. I don't love that, but I'm okay with it this game. I do think that it's not going to matter, particularly for my ability to carry this game to give that kill. And I definitely wanted to make sure that my teammates at least got an assist there. That's why I'm doing that. Now, Mord is likely running straight to this. I will also be running straight to that. I'm going to be level 6. He's going to be level 5. He can't possibly be level 6 there, I don't believe. Oh, oh my goodness. We're not going to make it, actually. Oh, hi, I missed my Q with both sides. Oh, that was a big noob mistake. We're going to go. Wow, that's really bad. Dun, 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 dun. So where is he? I don't actually know. Oh, uh, not ideal. Nice, I have the red here. Nice. Now, the only issue is, is that Maud is coming to this fight. I'm just going to leave that. I don't think that we can get it safely anymore. So we'll quickly sweep here. And then we're going to quickly grab this Scott Crab. It's tier 1 Scott Crab. It'll kill it very fast. And then I'm instantly recalling and buy my item here, which is going to be my Hubris. Boom, boom, boom. So I think it's pretty unlikely he does drag, but it is a possibility. And I don't really want him to get this drag, but I think it's lower probability than him just being on his topside camp slash invading my topside potentially. So, there we go, we see him there. Moving across, so that is completely fine. He's not 6 yet, but he will be 6 very soon. One more camp, I would say. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly pick up these raptors. Um, raptors, red, krugs, and then invade him on his blue, it's 20 seconds away. stuff now i might be seen here it's a possibility not too concerned but i do want to keep that in mind here's the mord i have smite nice managed to dodge that q should be another q coming now excellent and then we've got void grubs up in a moment which we will be going to okay Oh my god, I played that so bad, by the way. <sighs> Just don't know how I played it that badly. I think I shouldn't have eat. I think that was the issue. Should've just taken the Ash W to the dome. And then I lost vision out of the bush, and that's what fucked me over the next uh, part of that fight. Not gonna matter. We win the game. Very confident of that, but it was like a sloppy death by me, so I'm not happy about that. We gotta run straight to these grubs. Jump over the wall. Okay. 
Ash showing up. Don't want to um don't want to die to her, so let's take it a little bit slowly. He didn't do his blue. Now I don't know why. I'm guessing he was worried that he would die to uh Darius. Anyway. Well that being said, I'm gonna do his blue now. We're also gonna ping that he's on Raptors most likely. Then I'm gonna jet through, kill this guy mid, and then run down, defend the drag. Play that I like you. Be faster than me. Gust. Oh my days. Please leave this, bro. Become a statistic. Just die. I might have to run around and flash and waste 10 seconds. Whoa. Look at my zillions over here. Maybe you come to the fight or what? I don't know. The zillion. It's fine. Quickly duck back, go take their red. I was hoping I could get the bounce back part of that rebound and kill her. It was pretty ambitious, but you know, would have been nice. Saved me a little bit of time. Make sure I get that. And yeah, we'll duck down here, grab all these bot side camps, reset, and then play for top side again. I don't know what's going on here with my Diana. Looks like she's AFK. Does it matter? No, I'm not concerned. A little advertisement here. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, let's just go with this. Thinking I just want the damage. I don't really think I need a pink ward. I'm going to probably do this in front of their face. And yeah. Looks like it's going to be over. Nice. All is good there. I don't catch him. We catch him now, though. Give me up, bro. So we're just gonna jump over the wall here, do this herald, and we'll reset again. Nearby tier two boots, guys. Really need that with haste because the enemy team is just so fucking fast. What did I just read in my chat? I'm always bamboozled by the comments of low elo players in my games. And 
it's something I like to point out to you guys because I think this is just one of the reasons why you should absolutely disregard everything these people are saying. Wait, what? No way that guy is ever saving him. I feel like I should have been able to kill that guy. I don't know, he plays every part so weird. Oh shit. over the wall. You know, I really thought Darius would go bot with the Herald. As opposed to put one um, auto on the drag. Anyway. They matter. Quad here. Yeah. I was just out of position to start that fight to hit the Q on the wall. Anyway, beautiful stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Um, do I need LDR? Don't think so. No. I don't really need LDR, so I'm just going to go with this and we'll quickly grab Yomu's. We're chilling, really. Uh, while I have some downtime, I guess, guys, I'll again talk about it. If you guys like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Helps out with the algorithm. Also allows you to catch more of these videos. Also, I would like to mention that if you're someone who is interested in improving your gameplay, coaching is the best way to go about it. So if you're someone who really wants to get, you know, faster results than what you get from just watching YouTube specifically, then come join my coaching program. You can uh, see all the details about it, coachmiga.com. But basic premise of it is that you submit your games and also clips from your games, and then I will tell you what's going wrong in them. Then you have that instant feedback, basically, telling you exactly what you actually need to do to improve not like oh you know here's like you know what the average bronze player does wrong you know here's like whatever the bronze course no this is like you know you are doing this wrong this will give you direct lp gains if you stop doing this or if you start doing this you know one of the two right so yeah if you are someone who's trying to improve that would be my recommendation for the best fastest way that you can possibly improve Right now there's actually something to do in this game. Let's go to the Baron and uh, finish this shit off. The enemy team is not affecting. Five level lead in the JG right now. Complete 1v9. Straight away once this is finished, we're gonna duck over the wall. Grab these last two camps, reset, and then come out of base. 1v9 in the next fight, GG well played. The only issue with that um, is I don't have the flash button. I'm gonna swap over to the um, 
blue trinket right now the reason for that this game specifically guys is that i do not need sweet bushes right now i'm really fed all right i'm not gonna clear vision i'm here to kill noobs and so i want to hopefully be able to scout a bush you know if enemy runs into it that way i don't lose any dps bada bing bada boom one dead noob Okay, nice, that's that. She was slowed, distracted. Ash should be over here. She's all the way down there. Okay. Timer. Oh, well, this guy is getting fucked. Fine, that'll do. Alright, I'm gonna run down here, barren up the wave, and we're gonna continue going. So I'm gonna ping that I want to continue going. No, we're not doing a lot here. Proper gaming. Okay, that's that. Dodge that. Rat. Nice. Oh, not nice, but nice. We're gonna end the game here. Thank goodness. We're finally out of here. Alright guys, so that's gonna be game one. Full build, 23 minutes. Beautiful game. Really, you couldn't complain about this. Um, if you guys are dropping games like this, you're gonna be climbing very fast. Alright, so I'll quickly show you guys the runes. I'll plug the coaching to these guys that just lost, and then we'll uh, jump into the next game. Loading, loading. Any loaders? Oh, the uh, zillion, I think. What the hell is that? Anyway, damage shots. Off the fucking Shazam. Here's the runes. Pretty standard. We are dropping back, though, to the eyeball treasure hunter, especially in these lobby low games where we're able to snowball really fast. I've also been doing it in my higher elo games, too, D2 to Masters, but... I think this is the best place right now. Oh, sorry, I think this is the best in this place right now. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Until next time, take care. Good luck on Rift. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. The new video. As we can see, we are playing some more Brave Jungle. MMR is steadily increasing here on the uh, jungle account. The Unranked Diamond in the series, so that's really good to see. Starting to get a lot of gold players in the games already, which is a very good start. Riot has made some MMR changes this season, so it wouldn't surprise me if we started to get a little bit of a faster climb and saw some pretty good LP gains once these placements are over. I kind of expect we might even see some, uh, like, plus 45s and things of that nature. Did end up wasting an auto there. I wasn't too sure that it would actually die. It was unfortunate. Also, next unfortunate move, I gave my bowling the, uh, ability to start in lane, and they chose to start in the enemy JG and into me, so... It's not, uh, not very cash money. Well, 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 suboptimal, ladies and gentlemen, suboptimal. Hopefully, though, we'll be showing you guys how you can go about carrying said games, although, you know, it's not a good start. It's definitely a bad look. All right, so think about venturing into Viego's jungle here. Now, the few things that could have happened, Viego could have gone straight to my jungle quadrant. He also could double back to his quadrant, or he could reset. Nice. This is really quite a nice little situation. Okay. Hello, Diego. They're all going to move first. Try 
surely we are going to play the game here, right? I don't get either kill. I'm so sad, but... You know, it's fine. My teammates played that pretty much atrociously, but... They are playing in low elo. What expected. So I'm not, you know, completely surprised by that. Although I will say, the enemy team played that much better, which is, um... Yeah, it's definitely unfortunate. Hopefully, though, this does allow my teammates to kind of carry a little bit. Ah, uh, when I'm saying teammates, I really should be saying my top laner. Oh. Uh, you're not into me? You are really bad, bro. Jesus Christ. It's going to be a long and difficult game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to run straight to our bot side quadrant here. We're going to do three camps bot side into run straight to void grubs. Hopefully we will then be able to take the void grubs. And see that MF is pretty fed. Uh, I do want to get that shut down. I don't really know how I'm going to get it, but it's something that I am looking to do. I'm going to drop a smite here too, so that we've got one actively ticking. By the way, for those of you that maybe don't understand why what Oliver did was so bad, apart from dying, it's so terrible because he had reset, right? And he didn't take the reset. Nice. That was excellent. Um, yeah, we'll just quickly grab these. Yeah, okay, so going back to what I was saying, he had the opportunity to reset there, and he had um, to crash the waves, so he had a good opportunity to reset. Wave crashed, and he had a shit ton of gold, so he could have just instantly based, spent his gold, come back. Wave would have been slow pushing back to him, he would have just been able to kill Trundle on repeat, right? But instead, he fought the Trundle without having spent, proxying and tanking the wave at the same time. And basically, like, Volibear should just instantly win the lane off that double kill that he got plus red buff. But he somehow managed to, you know, throw it back to the enemy, which is basically a sin. And it's actually a common, you know, problem in low elo. Is people just overstay basically until they die. Um, and they wonder, like, why they can't carry. It's like, well, you know, you vented it, basically. And actually, if we just go back to what I said, Trundle ended up doing that. Trundle ended up staying instead of taking his base, spending his gold until he died. Whereas if Trundle had taken a reset, he probably would have got a pretty good situation for himself there. But definitely at least a much better situation than what he currently has. Because he would have killed Volley, pushed out, you know, a wave, maybe two waves, taken the reset, and then come back with a um, you know, full 50 gold plus, you know, maybe a wave or two. Which, you know, it's not, it's not huge, but. It's definitely a lot better than the uh, situation that he ended up doing. Anyways, here we're going to reset and we're going to go back, take our red, and look for some kills. Basically, I want to just like try and track down the enemy jungler wherever he might be right now and just one-shot him. Say he's on his red. I can ping that out in a moment's time. As always, guys, you want to be making sure that you're watching as much as possible. Wave states, that kind of stuff. It really does help. Also, you know, a lot of people, they really try and avoid using their FTs until like someone like, physically tells them to. So this is your reminder that you do need to start using your FTs or some other, you know, option. I don't really care how you do it, but you need to be looking at wave states and figuring out where to go, who to kill. If you're ever running around the jungle feeling like Graze is useless early game, that is why. It's because you're not using your F keys to gather information. He's still in the bush. Or like he's still around. Nice. Oh, kill this guy, what?
He's just dead too. What? Oh. oh my god. Whether it's making it look hard. Man. Wait. Okay. I'll wait there for two reasons. Firstly, I just want to make sure that I don't die. Because that would turn that play into a catastrophe. And then secondly, it's going to cost me too much time. I got shit that I need to do. Okay, nice. Game's over. Play Bear's able to do that. I'm gonna quickly yoink this. Enemy team just doesn't really have any options as to like what they can do to um, stop the game from being over here. This guy should get his base stops too. Yep. Nice. And then I'm gonna rock up here. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna duck over here, quickly do my Krugs, then we will reset, run back out, do Void Grubs. Like I said before guys, basically GG well played. Made pretty much all the right decisions here. Um, we didn't end up going bot and inting, and like when we were bot side we interacted with bot lane um, in a way that got us more of a lead, so you know we did all the things that we needed to do and we didn't. You know, the thing that would have ruined this game is if we went bot and died. That's the thing that would have you know, made it insanely hard for us to carry. And we did avoid doing that, so really good news. I'm going to go with the Yomos this game instead of the Hubris because I don't see the game going late. And I don't think that I'm actually going to get that many Hubris stacks. So I'm going to go Yomos so I can move around the map faster and Skirmishes faster. And I expect they're probably going to FF this game or we're going to end you know, somewhere around that you know, 20 minutes mark the latest. Unless... My volleyball does a metric shit ton of throwing, and look, I'm not gonna lie, I think there's a decent chance this guy will do a decent amount of throwing to space what we've already seen, but I think the throwing will be limited, and they'll probably FF. Um, how I see this game going about. I'm watching nothing happening there that I need to be like too concerned about. And we see that Viego is going into his camps up here, so I'm just gonna move up. Quickly kill him on his wolves. Hug the wall here so I don't get seen too soon. Boom. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna quickly make sure that this doesn't turn into a catastrophe. Nice. Bears able to leave. We're chilling. Why did we? Okay, that's fine. Let's make sure she doesn't die here. She should be chilling. I'm gonna go down, take my camps, and then clear towards bot side. Let me quickly chuck this on. Also, I should mention, guys, that if you are someone who's interested in improving gameplay more than uh, just YouTube videos, come check out the coaching, coachmiga.com. In my opinion, it is the number one thing that you can do to improve. That is coaching. But I also think that, especially if you're a jungle player or a carry jungle player, you know, say your Graves, Kindred, Kha'Zix, that kind of stuff, then I'm going to be probably the best person for you to improve. Nice, that's that. We're gonna duck back around quickly, yoink this, and yeah. Be basing out. Oh, also, actually, if you are watching this, let me know what champion you want to see next. Right? Because obviously, I'm doing Unrated Diamond on a bunch of different champions, but I don't know what order to do them in. Now, obviously, I mean, I figured Graze is probably a pretty good one to start on, given that um, most people know me as a Graze one trick, which is not actually the case, but. It's at least what I'm known as, so 
most people watch my channel, I presume, because of graves. And that's the thing, it's a pretty good idea to do the graves on first. My marketing and, um, you know, little monkey brain is telling me that I should do some Zach videos because I get really, really good viewership on a lot of my Zach view uh, videos. Pardon me. Some of the best viewership that, um, that I get ever, basically. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing some Zach Unranked 2 Diamond series. The only issue with that is I feel like I'm going to lose my mind playing uh, Tank in low elo, but then I thought, well, maybe I should do just a whole, you know, Tank 2 Diamond series. Like, not just one tank, but like, you know, whatever tank I think is best for the game. Because then I have like a little bit more control on my side and also a little bit of variance so that I hopefully lose my mind at a slower rate. You know, it's just a thought. All these things are thoughts, but um, as always, guys, you know, open to hearing suggestions. So, I do read a lot of the comments. I do reply to a lot of the comments, um, especially, you know, questions, good questions. I reply to quite often. Take a fair bit of time out of my day to do that. Nice. I had to put the R down there, even though I was getting hit by MF ult. I knew it shouldn't be enough to kill me. And if I did that combo, it makes it so that the fight goes quite a lot better. Quickly gonna yoink all of these camps, go to Herald, and I'd say it's gonna be GG very soon. Next 15 seconds actually, so I'm gonna get ready to uh, plug the coaching. Yep, there's the FF, as uh, I predicted. Did you all play, guys? So we're quickly, again, just going to do a little bit of plugging here. And I'll show you guys the runes, the damage charts. I'm going to expect that we did about 12... 9 to 12k damage here in 15-minute games, is what I'm thinking. Probably, probably close to 9k this game. It wasn't a huge amount of interaction once we actually got items. I'm going to say about 9k. Boom. That's the advertisement. NK. I mean, I'm pretty on the money with that, I'm not gonna lie. Here's the runes. I think that uh, that's gonna be it for today. Oh, actually, well, I don't really need to, but like, I'll quickly show you guys, like, what I'm playing with here. It's like goal four. So, yeah, MMR is going up pretty rapidly here. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Until next time, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen go again as you can see we're playing graves here and gonna be showing you guys how i'm currently playing graves graves versus shaco matchup which i do think is uh not too bad i'm not not too concerned about this matchup at all it gets smolder in the mid um so far i've only seen that champion pilot of like the weebs so i think the champion is really bad but I do think, as I've said many times on my stream, that I think that the champ's actually going to be considered broken. Um, pretty quickly, actually. I think Champion's Kid is just uh, inherently going to be broken. I think it's going to get like the Zeri treatment um, after a few patches. Oh my god, these fucking sprays are terrible. Um, anyway. Duck across here. Isolate the big raptor. You know, oh, that's a motto. You know, guys, pretty stand stuff here. Looking for the invade here on Shaker. Just think it's gonna be pretty chill. Oh, they FF'd. Is it an FF or a remake? See. This will obviously decide whether or not it goes in the video, right? Huh? I might just put it in the video anyway. Clear guide for you guys. Alright, um, I'll show you guys the runes, just the usual thing. We'll go on to the next game. I'm gonna put it into the video just because I want to be like really transparent on this account. So yeah, till next time guys, take care, good luck on Rift, peace out.
Hey guys. Well, this is going to be the hopefully third real game after that remake. This video. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so Grace vs. Shaco. Shaco is probably going to do three camps into bot. That's generally the uh, memo. But that being said, I. No, my bot should push into them too, yeah. So probably three camps into bot. And the issue with that is he actually does his three camps faster than you two, so you don't really have a great opportunity to invade him because. You know, if he's really good and he gets the skank off well, he can actually just instantly recall and run to his um, topside camps. I think that it's not going to be too much of an issue in this game. I don't expect that he's going to be really good. But, you know, just something to keep in mind, guys. Also, yep, MMI is definitely steadily increasing, playing a lot more golds now. Which is good because this is, um, you know, round about the elo that I you know, want to play in most, obviously that's not going to be in my control to unranked to diamond, but um, in general it's the best type of content for the channel and what people actually learn the most from because most people watching are, uh, you know, gold or blue. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we got Trundle moving. I actually like this play. Nice. Now this is actually really good for us because, hold on, let me just fill this guy quickly. Yeah, so all of this is really good for us because we have the level lead, right, on Shaco. Don't know what he's done with his clear, but it's bad. That's all I know. Oh, actually, I didn't know. He's done red, raptors, and then wolves, which doesn't give you level three. Um, anyway, I just, I don't know why he's done these things, but pretty bad clear by him. He's not level three. And I also chunked the shit out of him before the fight. And by the way, you guys, you'll see I saved Smite here. He's here. And I actually win this. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that was one hit away. So I actually win this, guys, because I'm level 3, he's still level 2, firstly. Secondly, I saved Smite because I thought he might do that. So you'll note there that if you, you know, are watching um, intuitively, I don't Smite the blue. I save my Smite for the Gromp. And then also, I had... Um, eight stacks, or maybe not eight stacks, but I had, um, you know, enough stacks, whatever the number was. I think it was seven, um, but I knew that I wasn't going to die there. You can see he's running around, and he's going to go below here to Krugs, and then Krugs is going to give him level three. But guys, right now he's just in a world of pain. So what am I going to do? How am I going to continue this snowball? I'm going to do my bot side quadrant here. Yeah, going to skip the bot side crab. Don't care about the bot side crab. He can have it. Even though like a lot of people would be like, oh, it's more punishing if I get the bot side crab. It is in the short term, but not in the long term. So I'm going to let him take bot side crab. He's still 12 CS, wasting a shitload of time. Even more time. Oh, the game's over, by the way. He's just... He's made too many mistakes as a jungler, and like I would never like lose this game even if I had one of my teammates go AFK or something. Unless my teammates like actively try to int or soft int, we don't lose this game. Yeah, so right now he's wasted time on a bot gank too. Now he's gonna go to Krugs and he'll probably do bots at Crab, Krugs, um Raptors, right? Second spawn raptors be up. And this this clear just doesn't allow him to do anything, you know, useful. So I'm level five here. I'm going to kill this, and then I'm going to go to the Void Grubs, and that's just simply just because I have the time to. This is going to desync my next clear a little bit, which is not ideal, but it is going to end up being better overall. Boom, boom, boom. Here over the wall. Chaco's not going to be able to be here, and even if he is here, guys, he's going to be level 3 still. He can't be level 4 right now. So that means I'm going to have a 2 level lead on him whilst doing these Grubs. I'm going to get first Grubs, then we go... Um, let's go first grubs and then we will go with the the over the wall into our um, no I'm going to go for the invade because I have um have the quin see nice see he's still 20 CS which means that he didn't do either camp here so I'm now going to take his Gromp, and I'm going to take his um, Wolves in a moment. He doesn't have Q yet, so he can't even come over the wall. Like, it's just not a good day to be Shaker.
He's dead there. My queen actually lives, I believe. I guess. The only issue here is Lux. And I'm going to guard for her. Boom, there she is. She's standing right there. We reset. Now, I'm losing a little bit in the top lane, but not enough, in my opinion, for it to be any issue. Now, I'm going to go with Collector first out in this game, because I think that the enemy team is going to be really squishy at this game. So Collector's going to be nice, but I also have a huge lead over Shaco, and I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to actually just, like, collect him. Makes sense. Now, Shaco is going to run straight to his red, most likely. I'm also running straight to his red. Normally, you wouldn't make this play, because I wouldn't have the timing to do this. But because Shaco is so far behind level 4, and also because he only has tier 1 boots, and he's going to buy like 2 long swords here probably, he's not going to be able to clear this fast enough. So I'm going to run here, and I'm going to kill him on it. He's probably on it right the second. I fucked up, but... Way to go. Unbelievable. Just me playing bad. Can't believe that. Ah, <sighs> guess what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly do the Raptors, do the track. Look, I'm winning the game here, but like, I really wanted to get that red too. I think these guys uh, went into the JG searching for me or something. Doesn't matter. What the hell is this guy doing? He can't even loop here. Now I have two options here by the way guys. I could have instantly gone all the way over to his uh, top side. And that was a fine play, but I'm going to actually opt for this play which is to clear my bot side quadrant, then go there. Now, what will this change? It means that he will be able to get at least one of his camps, but I'm okay with that because I want to get my bot side quadrant cleared and then go to his top side, and then I'll be able to go back to my bot side, uh, my top side, pardon me. That makes sense. I think he's on probably cleared wolves. Oh, he hasn't even cleared wolves. Okay, so he went blue grump first, I see. Where is he? Nice. Complete domination. As you can see, I've said this before, guys, but it's actually a lot of the time easier to dominate, you know, a little bit of a higher ELO game than like a complete bronze game because you have teammates to support you in like what you're doing. I wouldn't have been able to do as much here if my Quinn wasn't as active. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah, he's running around level 4 versus level 8 graves, right? Just... It's not playable. This guy's probably gonna ban graves for a long time. So Shaco is going to be down there in a moment. I'm going to do my topside camps here and then reset. And then we're going to continue onwards, guys, with the uh, domination. Go chase Shaco down, locate him in the jungle, and kill him. 
Also, we're just quickly going to turn on the chat here. Do a little bit of advertisement. I suspect that they will FF pretty quickly in this game. We may be wrong, of course. I'm going to go with the Merc Treads this game, just because I don't want to get CC'd. But realistically, Tarbies are actually better. But because I'm 1v9ing here, I want Merc Treads. If the game was closer, I would go Tarbies, because the champions. See Shaco's CS. These frogs are actually up, by the way. We know that from jungle tracking. This guy is now dead. Beautiful. this Lux here if I can get her. And then I'm going to go straight over to Shaco's other quadrant. Nice, that was my last treasure hunter stack. Push the wave, we know exactly where Shaco is, he's on his wolves. I'm going to move over there. Shaco might actually try and loop back around and kill the Quinn. Don't know how he'll get there, so I'm just going to go here. It's there. That's ankle breaking. He's so upset about that. Well played. That was a mixture of MF playing really well and also Ezreal griefing that. But, um. Smokescreen. That's also smokescreen, vision control, bush control, that kind of stuff. We did have to abuse the vision there, like, you couldn't get that play without. Fucking freak. This guy starts rolling. Shit, get me here with haste. Gonna be able to do it, I don't think. Nice. Hit the Ezreal there with the unlocked animation. Oh, what the hell? What was the wrong one? Interesting. Anyway. That's chill. I'm gonna be able to make it to that shaker. By the way, I was on a shitload of gold there. I could have base any time. And like someone will comment about that. Um I still up gold on the enemies, right? Like no one was actually ahead of me in gold by like 
that much until basically the last like minute. And yeah, I could have based any time, but there was a lot of shit happening in the game that, you know, was really nice to go to, so I didn't end up, you know, getting there. But I had thought about it, just like things kept on happening. And like also the other thing is like once I based, I don't know. Like that's what happens. You know, and I knew this. The game comes even more um, imbalanced now that I based. She spent the gold. This game is not actually a huge kill hungry game either. This was really just the macro side of it. So, you know, it's kind of a shame it's going to be buried deep in this video. I might even get the editor to put this one out and make it a standalone video also. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna quickly run straight to I mean, bot side quadrant. Also, I didn't go hubris this game because I thought the game would end really quickly. Um, I actually thought they would FF. They didn't FF, so but I would have normally gone hubris, you know, most of the time here. Yeah. We're still maintaining that huge um, XP lead too, guys. Over basically the entirety of the game, it's really not you know, going away. It just goes to show like how much we're doing here. We're not letting the uh, put off the gas. I don't know why, it feels like I'm lagging a little bit. Which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Or if it didn't happen. Holy shit, look at this damage. What's that? He definitely shouldn't hit that. This is the play here. Oh, you're joking, man. Really? I thought I swear to God I'm lagging. Like screen tearing. Anyway, GG well played, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to report Shaco. Uh, I'm not going to report him. I would have turned them all into inters. Alright guys, well, that's it for today's video. As always, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. If you would like to learn how to carry like this, go to coachmario.com, join the coaching community. I will personally look over your games and teach you how to carry 1v9 style. Alright guys. Oh, actually, I'll show you guys the runes. Um, and again, like I said, we're into the gold elo bracket now. So that's really nice. 16k damage. Actually, one of my lower damage games, by the way, guys. Like, for a 20-minute game, it's, like, quite low. If you guys watch over the previous games in this series, um, drop way more dick than this. Yeah. That's fine. These are the runes. These are the stats. Beautiful. Till next time, guys, take care, good luck on Rift, and peace out. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to another video. Today, this is going to be a follow-on for the Unranked 2 Diamond series that I'm doing. And we are currently about gold MMR on this account. Um, we're something like 16 and 1 overall, but this season I think we're 3 and 1. Not entirely sure these things don't matter too much. Um... There's plenty of games ahead of us, but we're currently playing in about gold MMR. And that is going to start increasing pretty rapidly, I do believe, especially if we continue winning all these games. We're playing um, Graves versus Diego here. Not my favorite matchup, but it is a matchup that you do normally win. It's just a little bit annoying with how Diego's E works. 
Um, but Diego's stats are actually just so bad at the moment that you normally just win the matchup because he doesn't deal enough damage. With the actual champion kits, I do think that um, Diego does have a bit of an edge on Graves, especially if you if they like fix uh, Diego's numbers a little bit. As always, you guys can see the clear here. Make sure to get the wall jams wherever possible. Make sure to isolate the camp we actually want to kill when you're focusing on the smalls. And just in general, looking to have maximum levels of efficiency at every aspect. Get all of the little krugs. You know, that just comes down to how you position yourself. Again, isolating the big one as much as possible. So he's going to ward, we can actually see what he did. Something you guys want to always be doing whenever you're playing the jungle is like observing what they actually do. So I know he warded here. All right, and so what I could do is I could come and gank him from the top side of the lane if I you know, thought that the gank was really high probability of working. Um, I could have, I just don't think that, you know, uh, um, my Vega is going to have box because he's level two. And then when Vega, I mean, sorry, when Vega has box, uh, Vladimir is going to be level three too, and he'll have pool, so he'll just be able to pool out of it. So uh, anyway, what I'm saying is I don't think that there's going to be a great gank there at this point in time. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go kill this Gromp and blue, and then we'll look for some kind of play. Now, I don't know where Viego is. I actually suspect he's bot side based on like what I think of Viego should do, but I think because of the elo, he's actually top side and doing a full clear on um, bot top. I am. Oh, we're going for the top gank here. There's no pull. And E here just to keep stacks and get there a little bit sooner. And this guy should have to ghost in any moment now. Oh, he's trying to 2v1 it. Got the ghost active, and here's the Viego. Nice. Keep guarding. I do have full stacks here, so I want to keep this fight going. They still have flashes on both. Beautiful. So we obviously had to play that pretty clutch. Um, the wave is actually going to push back to my player there, so I'm going to just leave the wave. Quickly run down, grab this, and we're chilling. Do you think that's quite a nice play for us though, and we had to play it you know, quite well? Kind of knew all the things that they were wanting to do there, so be happy with that. Quickly reset right now, guys, and buy items, and then... You know, it's still a bit of time until boy grabs, so I'll walk bot to um let's say one camp and then we'll go to grubs. Do two camps. I just got to grubs a little bit late. Oh, that's terrible. It's always extremely bad guys if you die in the scaling lane solo guild. Whenever that happens, you always think like, wow, I really fucked up. But then your lane is watching these videos, which, you know, I actually have pulled it before. I know there's like, quite a few people who actually play lanes that watch these videos who like main lanes, but just want to learn like more about the jungle to, you know, kind of survive through that. So it's quite an interesting thing. Also, actually, for those of you that, you know, are lane mains, I actually have a whole other channel dedicated to posting off-roll content. Um, I think you could just type like off-roll Maiga into YouTube. So I'm about like a thousand subscriber channel. You can watch me. I post, I'm trying to post a daily um, video of off-roll gameplay too. Ah, uh, it's in such an awkward spot. I can't seem to pull it. Uh, none of my players are um, moving at all. Let me play the game here. Nice, I baited it. Kill his ass, please, he's fucking slowed. Kill this guy too. I can't believe they got grubs, yeah, I'm so sad. But anyway, we're gonna get two kills. Look. You might see me can just play better and they don't get to get any of them, but you know, it is what it is. We're getting two kills there. Not the end of the world, but um Yeah, you know, at the same time I would love better results, of course. 
I do want to go straight down to this um, drag base. I thought the raptors would be up too, but it looks like he actually got raptors, which is a little unfortunate for me. Alright, we're gonna go with this. Better power spike. If I had had hubris, I would have gone hubris, but didn't have the hubris gold, so it's gonna go Yomos and try and, you know, get a big power spike here, use the move speed to hopefully get some more kills, that kind of stuff. Looks like Zara. Oh no. I'll go through there. It is. I'm really just max maxing over this game right now. Got the Diego coming through. I'm pretty chill here, actually. I uh, don't love how my teammates played this, but anyway, I lived. I think that's just on a hill. Um. These guys use this also. So I do want to do this infernal drag, but I don't have smart. So I'm gonna now I suspect that Diego is there, but he could actually be bot side still too. Because his blue is probably up. His blue is definitely up because I don't have it. Right? So like he's just clearing so inefficiently that like you know he can really be anywhere. And you know we're just playing like a little bit of a guessing game. Whereas like if this was a higher elo game, I would know he'd be top because he should have already done his blue before that block game, etc. We can get a stun on that. Cool here. Nice. Oh, hold on, brother. He fucked up. What's happening over here? If I have two people in my top side JG, it's a possibility. And keep that in mind when I go in here, I do want to clear these camps, but I also don't want to die. I'm going to try and regen as much health as possible, so I'm cutting out the camps. Even if I lose DPS, I just want to cut them to avoid taking their damage, get as many fleet stacks as possible. Yep, here we go. Oh, that's an issue. He just fucking owed me over the wall? Okay, and we got their red, right? That's what I'm checking. So I now know what they've done. I also now know that they have not done their boot still, so that is up. But I still suspect that he will run straight to this because that's just like inside the JG's mind, right? Okay, so isolating, not isolating this, pardon me, hitting both at the same time. Let's see if I can get all of them because that would then allow me to, um, on five for the game which would allow us to get the spawns it's a big deal if i can get all of them although you know i don't want to die for them especially with this shutdown that i'm currently on so i'm playing it pretty safe now let's quickly duck back grab this reset instantly i'm gonna ping that diego is likely bot side and you're chilling i'm gonna turn on the chat here to do a little advertisement for the coaching as always, guys, if you would like coaching, go to coachmarket.com. Fortunately, you can't go into debt here. We went uh, domination tree.
Okay, here's the Viego. Sure, I think he's gonna run around here. Okay. Ah, fuck. The fuck? That's what it is. Should have obviously done a different combo on Ezreal. Answer. I just let him play it differently. I actually didn't think he had E, so. A lot of that issue. Oh, he just got his blue now. Should have ult again, but we'll see what we can do here. Ace of down. Okay. Should kill this guy. Flash off. Flash hold down, think about there. Oh, what the fuck? There it is. Um, I think we can duck back for this. Ooh, hold on. Nice, he smarted it. That was a big mistake for him because now he loses his red. Oh, because both died, but even if he didn't die there, he loses his red because he smarted. So that's why I was doing that, by the way, guys. Like, I literally do not mind if he gets that. We get here as quickly as possible. Nice, that's one. Drag spawning, Harold spawning. Nice, chunk that guy. Duck down. You guys are saying mid gap and top gap, etc. What the fuck are they talking about? GG gap. Oh. It's literally all that matters. They're crazy. Their mid's actually better than our mid. I mean, he's rotated like multiple times, etc. Our mid's only doing anything because I got, um. I got ganks up there. Yeah, we made a solo killing mine multiple times. Oh, both my solo and are renting me. Nice. Anyway, it's chill. That's what it is. Set here. Oh, this probably made that panic. Yeah, let's go a little hubris action. Pink here, I'm just gonna pull it out and kill it. Enemy JG's on the other side of the map, and um, I'm pretty much set for the fight. The only issue is I don't deal any damage to Darius right now because he has so much armor. Oh, Vlad down here, let's see if we can uh, catch him out. I think we have to be careful for this of blood. I think he went down into my jungle. Let's probably water the tribe bush. I'm gonna duck back up here and maybe get into this bush.
Okay. Nice. Oh my days, what the fuck? I don't know how the fuck I'm in this thing, by the way. Rush over here, nice. If I get to this guy. Didn't he W already? Am I tripping? A little business in old chat. Push the stuff. Fuck over the wall. Next item will be some kind of temp pen, LDR most likely, um, in this game. I think Cleaver's dead on graves, sadly, these days, guys. Oh no. Didn't think so. Either. I think he might still just be on this because he clears it pretty slow. He does. Beautiful. Got both at the same time. Also got his flash. I kill? No. That does. No. Out of it. I think that was such a bullshit zillion stun, by the way. We died. A little bit unfortunate, but here's what it is. 1k shut down to the Vlad. Definitely could matter in a real uh, game, but when we've created this much of a lead, you know. It's just there's not a lot that they can do. Get that killed, get the drag killed. I hate ocean drag, man. And then, yeah, let's get up towards the, um, whatchamacallit, the Baron. Actually, I might do BT before I go there. Also, I said I was going to go pen, but then I ended up going BT. And the reason for that is just that I'm not dealing with Darius at all right now, so I don't need it. Should be over there. Is there an issue for him? Oh, 
flash and ghost cunt. If Vega ran more, like in the right direction, he would have actually killed him. I needed to like cut him off. It's um, I don't know what the route it is, some fucking geometry lessons. Hey, he knows I'm here. Too fast. Even I slowed him, he's still too fast. Come, 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 come. Here, let's grab one of these. I'll go back. Crazy, this guy's doing so much typing and not listening. It's always the case, though. It's like people develop this, like, I don't know, ego in their minds. It's like, oh, this guy's 1v9 in my game, and I'll not listen to him. Why are we not here? You know what I mean? Like, what on earth is going through my Garen's mind? Not ping him enough because it's free season. Yeah, this guy should just be banned from the game, pretty much. This is also the type of person that probably complains about the fact that like he has bad MMR and doesn't climb and things like that. But he just plays like terribly controls. Spawned him up. Oh he has E still. All play boys. We'll plug the coaching here in a second and uh, we'll get out of this game. Need the creep wave. Just powering this shit up. Look where Garen is again. Somehow found himself split pushing in Narnia. Fuck is this? Gotta eat it so I don't get hit by the Darius. Hold there, Darius E. Yeah, boys. Beautiful. It took like an extra five minutes due to teammates, but yeah, it's out of our control. We can't make these guys play any better than what they want to play at. I mean, we tried. We gave them all the inputs that would help them, but at the end of the day, right, I can't like play their um, keyboard with my feet. So it is what it is. Rihanna the Zara. Zara Tristana were the two people that, you know, kind of made the game easier. 5 0 so far this season, and we're 14 1 last season. About 19 1 on this account. The MMR reset from the seasons definitely didn't help my MMR, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I'm going to expect they're going to get plus 40s, so we're only about 15, no less. No, sorry, we're like, um, like 8 games away from goal 4. So, might even get goal 4 in this video. Um, I'll quickly show you guys the runes here, and yeah, nice. All right guys, that's it for today. Until next time, take care, good luck on Rift, and peace out. Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. As always, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, helps out with the algorithm. Also allows you to see more of this type of content in the future. Anyway.
Moving on to the next part, it's going to be playing some Graves Jungle here. Graves versus Hecarim. Should be about gold for MMR, which is quite nice. And uh, the account is steadily increasing. We just hit Silver 3. And we're currently something like 20 wins, 0 losses all up on this account. And 6 wins, 0 losses for this season. Oh, sorry. 20 wins, 1 loss, pardon me. And it's 6 0 this season. It's the um, historical data for the account. All right, looks like Hecarim actually started bot, which is surprising to me. It wouldn't be where I would expect him to start. Well, they could have been fake leashing. Quite interesting. Oh, Cole on Jin's out. That seems, um, control to me. Uh, I don't know if I should do this or not. I want to invade Hecarim's, like, blue because he should be weak getting there, actually, because he didn't start blue. But I don't know if I'm just getting, like, debated by the enemy bot lane. Like, everything tells me he should have already been here and started here. But maybe he's a noob, he's a noob. Nice. Alright, I'll just walk out. Beautiful. You'll notice that I played that in a specific way based off um, the Zoe bubble. Made sure that I lined it up, got cute, didn't just like auto attack straight away or anything like that. Just played it patiently and slowly. And it's actually a really good situation to Zoe, by the way. This um, whole, like, gank, etc. Nice. She quite liked the Zoe, yeah. Well played. Looks like she's gonna go for the top gank, too. Sure, she's gonna go for the top gank, yeah. Wow. Oh. Well played. Well played, well played. PTSD Whiskey. Put some respect on her name. Yeah, I'll go deal with that for a lot. Wait, take your reset. But in all honesty, I don't even know if we need too much dealing with. Actually, fine. I might just recall here in XP range. Out of XP range. That sucks. Nice, nice, nice. I like this a lot. Now, I'm pretty much the reason I didn't go for any of this is because I want to get to my bot side as quickly as possible here. And just make sure Hecarim doesn't get my whole quadrant if he goes here at least. Um, which I do think he might be in here. I want to ping these guys to be careful too, because if Hecarim's here, then they're at uh, risk. Oh, wow, he's not. Uh, so he's in a world of trouble right now. It means he's like doing these things. Uh, um, yeah, that's really good. It's a great game so far. Let's go clear this into Void Grubs, we'll be level 5, we'll grab the Grubs, and, um, you know, I mean, calling the game GG right now is, like, probably a little bit soon, but this is a really, really good start to this game. Since I'm gonna move, since I may move here, it's one thing I'm keeping in mind while I'm doing this. Watching the minimap here. I'm actually watching the minimap more than the skirmish. Nice. Nice. Now I actually expect that this guy has smite, so I'm gonna ward here again. Excellent. Then we'll duck across. And this is free now, because I have smite. So I was waiting out the smite there, mostly. What? I hate how it won't die on one health. Man. Ah, he smited it. Damn bastard. I thought he would do it the other way, because like that way it provides some risk, but anyway. 
That's that. Uh, this is actually really good, by the way. I just recall here. And um, he's now wasted his... Well, so now he has to play like... Well... I don't know. In this elo, who knows? But normally, if he wastes his ward like that, now he has to play accordingly because he doesn't have a ward for like, you know, X amount of time in his lane, right? So these things... You know, everything really adds up. Every little, like, part of the game, it matters. So whenever you're playing, if you can get these, like, tiny resources, it should be small wins for your team, which then small wins, you know, can snowball into large wins. Like, say he has to give some waves or not punish GP on a few waves or GP scaling, and Zendao is the early lane matchup, right? And then so if he doesn't punish GP because uh, he doesn't have vision for a little while and doesn't know where I am and I'm really fed, and he doesn't know where Zoe is and Zoe's really fed, this can quickly add up to costing him like his lane matchup just because he, you know, placed a ward in the wrong spot. And, you know, also on the flip side of that, it's like, well, did he place a ward in the wrong spot? You know, one could argue, not really. He has to kind of contest that, right? He has to contest me being in his jungle as jungle. And so then this comes back to like, well, this is the pressure that you're putting on the game by playing, you know, in this way, certain way that's like very proactive and punishing of the enemy jungler. Like now I'm roaming in. Ooh, I'm not fucking cash money, bro. I'm gonna ult here. Just because I don't think that I would get my autos in before. Uh, sorry, I don't think I'd get my reload in to auto him before he gets the two autos. Just walk back, just walk back, don't TP. Nice. So I've given him a pretty big gift there. Don't TP, don't TP, don't TP. Because now he can walk back, right? Do some shit and then TP back when he has his item. Oh, I want to see if I can assist in this. Holy. That's really nice. Helped her out a fair bit there, actually. Because he would have came back alive, he might have just instantly flashed or something. I want to rotate straight to this, and I should have both my laners able to rotate to this because they have prior in their lanes, right? And that comes because we just ganked both lanes. We've crashed at fat wave mid by doing that. Now, she's roaming bot side. I really don't like that, but, you know, it's out of my control. One thing I will note, guys, I do have to go around bot side soon. Okay. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, man. That's one thing. Whew. That's the shit right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the shit. Alright, very nice. And we should be able to get blue crops here after these two camps be like very healthy again. And I'll still have item leads, so I won't mind. <sighs> but I'm getting absolutely pounded though. I'm gonna duck over the wall, do this, recall, go to my bot side quadrant, bada bing, bada boom. I don't think Hecarim comes and contests this, to be honest. Especially with these laners getting kind of counted in the top lane. Really, what Hecarim, in my opinion, should be doing is going and playing for drag here, and maybe my bot side quadrant. Because, um, you know, Q's bot are actually doing pretty good. Like, that's what he's doing. That's fine. I, like, don't even particularly want to contest him on the drag that much. Getting fucked. All right, let's go with this here into this into this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna make it to this drag anyway, so I don't want to rush. 
I kind of actually want to ping this chick to be a bit careful. Like, we can go for this, and I do want her to go for it, but I want her to be very careful. Maybe I should have gone tier 2 boots. Oh, no, I shouldn't have. Okay, I was right. That's fine, by the way, guys, like, for them to get the drag. Like, it's just their turn. Drag is their turn. Their bot lane has solo killed my bot lane seven times. They get to get it. My bot lane are really bad for allowing this to happen to them. That just is what it is. Which also, though, feeds back into, like, do I really want to even be indulging in this bot lane skirmish? And my top lane and mid lane are playing well, and my bot lane are playing really bad. Do I even want to put myself in that risk where I'm, like, going and playing around a lane that's playing super, super poorly? I want to see if I can get this. Now, this is pretty risky, though, because, as we just spoke about, my bot lane sucks. But I think that their bot lane will just walk straight back to lane. We'll be chilling. Okay, no, my little pony. That's not there. Oh, go, go, go. Beautiful. Nice. Good shit. There we go. You guys gotta be careful. And actually, no, Hecarim is topside. Probably on his grump right now, I'd say. I'm running straight to this. He's either on his grump or looking to dive top. Okay, he's just done it. Should ult him or something. Hate him. I right, shouldn't do anything now. No! Here's the My Little Pony. Might be a crucial error, brother. So yeah, this guy definitely shouldn't have died there. Here's what it is. My Little Pony took my quadrant. Oh, you'll see that my Tristan died again, somehow. Who knows? The noob. The noob. Yeah, my GP did not need to die there. He should have just simply walked away and, you know, then got the kill or got an assist because that's all he was ever getting was an assist. And then he could have, you know, pushed away with me, taken these plates, recalled, GP back, and he'd be in such a good position. Now, it's just not that good, right? But quickly, actually, no, I'm going to go to his blue. I think Hecron probably took all my shit, so I'm just going to go straight to this blue, see if I can yoink it. Then I need to instantly recall because I want to try to get my items and then shut down this Kate. And I actually also think it's pretty important that I'm the one who shuts it down. Now this is looking terrible and I don't even really want to be at this because I haven't faced, but I think I need to be at this, sadly. But anyway, I'm going to push the mid wave here. Seeing what I can do. Oh my goodness. Kidding. So I was like specifically not ordering rail, but I knew that I needed to auto rail, otherwise I was not gonna be able to kill both of them. But then GP gets the kill, right? But I was trying to make it so the GP wouldn't get the kill. And yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, I base here. I got what I needed off there, so we're chilling. We should just win the game now. Quickly pick up Hubris, pick up Collector. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom, should be GG. Oh, well, my red is not up, so I don't actually know what this guy is doing, but he's in my jungle somewhere. Holy. Eight spot. Just run straight in here. I bought a still still useless. Zero nine. I don't need anyone to come here. Like we should just go do lanes, get XP on my teammates. Like I don't even want their assistance because I want them to hopefully go do something useful. I, mean, I really don't want that to happen either, but it is what it is. Okay, not here, not here. I think that I'm gonna have to reset into going. Bot lane. But the thing is, I was hoping to get one camp first so that I could get my boots. Uh, I just think I'm not going to be able to go recall now, sadly. Uh, okay. 
Be really careful there. Look for this. I don't know where Kate is. I think she recalled in the little pixel brush part. Like here. I'm gonna quickly run to this too, so this guy doesn't get the tower. I'm probably actually gonna kill him here. Oh, he left. Catch me as tier two boots. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go over to the drag, take the drag, reset. Uh, I'm gonna take the drag, actually, my two block camps, then reset, and then um, yeah, that should be pretty sure. That's three, sure. I could have invaded the red, but it's a little bit risky. I don't want to do it without my tip boots. I don't want to get caught in there and die. I'm 1k shut down right now, guys, so I gotta be quite careful. You can see big skirmishes occurring. Drop that over there on the K, so she can't really get into this fight the way she wants to. Just hitting here for life steal this whole time. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know why it started that way, by the way. Anyway, what I wanted to do is like come through here and see if I could like collect them. I read. I was just reading. For Zero six Tristan was like, hell no, am I tanking that shit when I'm on full health? No fucking chance. Alright, let me reset here. I have the empowered recall. Here two boots are a must here, so we're gonna go with this and this. And back on the rift. Let's get it. You can see we've created a huge lead here. We're pretty much 1v9, although we'll put some respect on the midlander's name. I'm on a ward. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Holy. Did a little bit of damage, huh? Back into camp, just want to ping these guys, be a bit careful, let's not die for no reason. Okay, cool. And I don't mind that. Alright, 20 minutes has arrived, we yoink this. Everyone should get a red there. Oh. I don't really want to be clearing these top waves, guys. Um, you know, I really don't want to be clearing anything that I don't need to be clearing right now. Like, I've got the resources I need. I really want to fist fight. But if we're going to just delete the waves off the map, well, I'll take them. Anyway, boom. Boom. Let's get me towards mid lane. And we'll go do this fight. GG, we'll play it. Maybe we have to do a barrier in this game. I'd prefer not to. I think we can just end, but... You know, it's not like it's going to be that big a deal. Actually, let's just go do barrier now. Zara, Zara plants. Come. Ignorant bastard. It's whatever. I hate these guys, man. If 
play a little bit slow. She's obviously going to try and EQ me. Nice. Oh, now Zara's here. Wow, nice. That'd been helpful before. I do not feel bad for this role. She was soft into me last game. in here we'll recall i guess and uh run it back surprised the enemy team hasn't f heft i mean they're just dropping a bomb here this game He's like AFK typing. His weight on top, boys. Nice. Actually got the Penta. Beautiful. I really thought my teammates would try and grief me for that. I don't really know, I don't know the button to do the fist bump thing, so I just give people thumbs up, you know, old school I guess, whatever. 531 AD. Damn. Alright, let's end this shit. What am I dropping here, a 30 bomb? I am. 30 bomb in fucking bikini bottom low. These guys are not gonna let me end, yeah. I knew it. Whatever. I do guys dip fucking fast as fuck too. Here's what it is. I'm wasting a bunch of time. I got two teammates bought, etc. etc. I don't know why my teammates are ever fighting this, by the way, without me. Like, they are not... Are we gonna win? I think... There is... A lack of talent going on, especially from the bot laners. It's not we might be able to do some shit, but everyone else is pretty much gonna be useless. Guess we'll do this and get back out there. Uh, I might pick up red actually and wait for my top laner to respawn or like get closer to respawning because he can TP to us. He doesn't need to like, you know, doesn't need to like walk there. So we don't have to wait too long for him. But the rest of my team are just fucking wasting time. Let's go end, guys. Come on. Don't have all day. We're gonna do drop fucking 40 kills to win this shit. Yeah. Come on, let's go in. Fuck me. Watch that. All 
Alright, nice. We're gonna go. Jesus Christ, man. Shit I gotta do here. My teammates are still like top. Alright, beautiful stuff. I think that's gonna be the last video for this video, if that makes sense, the last game in this video, because I have to actually jump off, go do some coaching now. And I think I need to publish this today. So I'm gonna send this over to the editor and get it done. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. As always, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. And if you want coaching, go to coachmarga.com. If you've watched all the way through this video, you should probably join because uh, you're going to get a lot of value out of joining the coaching community too. All right. This is the damage charts. Absolutely insane. These are the... Jesus. These are the runes. Just a complete 1v9er. And guys, it goes to show like how many of these games you can just completely 1v9 if you get good enough. And so, like, a lot of people say, like, you know, these low elo games are out of control, teammates are super bad, yada, yada, yada. They are. Teammates are super bad. But if you get good enough, you will carry and you will climb. There is no... There's nothing. There's not a single thing that will stop you from climbing if you play good enough. Until at least, like, basically in Masters or Grandmaster. Maybe even Challenge. I don't know. The difference between skill levels up there, it does become a lot harder, right? Because, like, some people are legit playing League 24-7 full-time. But, you know... Probably until you get to Diamond, most people are casual still, right? Like, they're not playing League all day, every day. It says, you know, you should be able to get better than these people. There's basically no excuses. Just put in the work, get as good as you can, and you'll climb. All right, guys, that's it for today. Take care, good luck on Rift, and peace out. Hey, guys, welcome to a new video. As you can see, some more great jungle being played here. Let me show you guys what I'm currently doing. This is a continuation of the unranked to diamond series for graves. We've just finished our placements for 2024 season. 5 0. Beautiful stuff. All right. Here we're going red, Krugs, Raptors. And then maybe straight into a bot gank. We will obviously observe the uh, matchups. Also, guys, you see doing the auto cancel on the wall there. You always want to be doing these things wherever you can on graves. It gives you more DPS faster, which allows you to carry more games because you're getting across the map quicker. All, right, all of these little efficiencies really do matter. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. bit inefficient there on the uh, small crogs is what it is potential mid gank available here so i'm gonna be looking at that um it is pretty nice if i can chunk the so here to be honest because kale is such a trash laner that this would definitely help out his lane so i am gonna look for this once yasuo throws this third q we're going straight in he has no attack speed right now so this will be good. Dodge the Q. Got hit by that Q. Get my KO shot the fuck up. Nice. See the year there with the red. Push. Even if this guy is saying don't push, I don't care. The 100% right choice here to push. You know, if you guys know this, then just always force the push. If you don't know, then be a bit more cautious. Um, but I knew. Start picking my top lane, be careful. He is in the top side. Hit up in my bot lane, start being careful too. There's no reason my bot should be fighting. They're playing Solder, Smolder, whatever the fuck it is, in center. Absolute freak lane to choose. And um, we also started tier on Smolder. This guy is terrible at the video game, but it is what it is. Smolder players it should be. Uh, not what the right solution would be, I think it's uh, politically incorrect to say, but not a fan, not a fan. Also, for those wondering, this game through about mid gold MMR, MMR is steadily increasing. I'm expecting that we're going to be seeing a lot of plus 45s 
on the LP games once or now actually because we're out of placements. I do expect we'll be winning this game. Four minutes now, one minute for grubs, air dragon, so we're definitely going grubs this game. How do I get there and uh, punish it? I'm probably going to pick up this crab, instantly recall, go get my top side camps and then play for that. Guess what still has flash. Start basing, gonna drop the ward out in a second. These guys need to stop what they're doing. Yeah, so we're moving down too. Guys, gotta be watching everything, gotta be controlling everything if you want to really, really have a high chance of winning. All of these things you see me doing must be done. Like, I'm controlling the lanes, I'm getting vision, getting ganks off. It all has to be done. All is happening. He is down here. I'm gonna keep pinging this. I am looking at this top lane. I am gonna wrap around and gank it. I think that Maul's gonna try and crash this wave, so I should be able to get this off. Obviously, normally you would go do two camps here and then do the uh, void grubs, but you know, this game calls for a different situation. Hopefully, this guy doesn't end here. You are a freaky little thing. Beautiful. Gonna help this guy push his wave quickly. We see Yi bot. Let's start pinging that in a second again. Yeah, it's bad, but it looks like they have actually lived, so that's excellent news. Save Q here so that you can kill all the little ones and the rebound. Wasn't the best one there for me, but it was okay. We see Yi again. He's moving over to here. And look, he's going to start doing this drag. That's completely fine because we're doing grubs already. You know, we're just going to let that happen. But how we punish this is we go and invade Yi's um, quadrant here ASAP, right? So... And in all honesty, right, if I had better laners who were just better and smarter, I would actually tell them to go and try and stop that and fuck with you, because he doesn't actually do it this fast, and the air drag actually does a lot of damage. I don't want to disturb my noobs. I just want them to not end. That's basically what I want. So I'm just going to ping this guy to not die. He is by himself in the lane. And they're still weak side because he is there. Okay, you can see he's finished that. Now, he may go into my bot side quadrant, although I suspect he will not. I believe this is not up yet. I think my top is about to get altered here, so... Oh, he doesn't. Okay. He's got to be careful. Checking out this mid fight. That does look like Yasuo is going to look for a skirmish here. Wait for Yasuo to chuck Q, and then we're going to all in him. Get altered, get altered. Nice. Yasuo's dead. Beautiful. That's that. And we're actually going to go straight to Yi's red now. Now, I very much believe I'm going to struggle to get my teammates to come here. But we are stronger than Yi right now. Yi is probably level 5 too, but we have better items than he does. And I also think we can play the skirmish better. And on top of that, I actually think he probably isn't here too. It's a good chance he's like doing other things. Like he could be... In all honesty, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he's actually on his top side quadrant right now. Thinking that I didn't counter drum with him. But he could have also taken my bot side quadrant too. You know, he might be better than I expected. Who knows? Form, let's take this. Now, we should actually be able to figure this out where he is. I'm going to look. Wrapped us down. Okay, so he's doing his quadrants. So I'm going to quickly go do my quadrant. Somehow, this guy's skirmishing. Don't know why. I do my bot side quadrant here. Instantly recall afterwards. And then I go play my top side quadrant once again. Get the smited. And we know he is top side. Now, the one thing that may be happening here that's bad for me is you could potentially be taking my upside quadrant, my red, etc. And that would suck because I didn't get Yi's quadrant, I just got his red. But if he is, it is what it is, you know. I've been kind of doing everything around the map. You know, seeing Yasuo in there too, that does make that seem like a more likely scenario. A little bit unfortunate, but there's not really any recourse for me right now. I need to base, so we just base here, come back out and play from there. Oh, Yi's bot, holy shit, it's over. Ah, he's fucked. Um, ulti? An ult? Okay, cool, whatever. I don't care what you guys do, just live. Nice, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna go quickly over here.
Sorry, I had to reply to a DM. Now, Yi is going to be coming to this. He's going to have no uh, ultimate. Oh, he doesn't have his left game stuff. Oh, they're spawning now. Okay, I'm going to start his blue and get um, grit stacks. No idea where Yi is actually going to be because he has a lot of options right now. But uh, I would normally expect him to be here. Okay, so he cleared that way. Oh, sure. Oh, so, okay. Right, let's get the Q down. I wanted to get the Q there ASAP because it was next to a wall, even though I would lose DPS. Uh, no, you fucking rat. I should have flashed differently, I guess, to create distance to not be getting ordered slash W'd. It's still fine though. Also, I needed to get the Gromp, but I also needed to not go down a shirt. It's a hard situation. More just stat checks grades every time and all. It's like a painful matchup, guys. Anyway, we're quickly going to run straight to the jump over the wall, bada bing, bada boom. And yeah, we're chilling after that. Let's run over here. Don't believe that there'll be any. Holy. Never mind. Bro. Ah, so cancerous. Couldn't get one either. <sighs> Painful. Just whatever I have these shitty lanes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it's just too funny? Fucking won't be nodding the scales laying for him. Fucking useless. Yeah, I have really, really trash lanes this game, so it just is what it is. I think this shit. Cowards, zero five placed. Done, you guys. I'm gonna push this wave so that hopefully we can contest drag. It's a fucking useless man. Oh, at least we placed a ward. Let's go. Nice. Bot still, just finish that. Daddy again. Yeah. Crazy stuff out of these guys.
don't even know if I can still kill you right now. That's how crazy the game has been changed. Somehow my mid is down CS. All of these things are just so fucked. Oh, play it. Ah, uh, so fucking useless, man. Um, fucking play the game, you fucking freak. You have invade timer. I'll make it very easy for them. Disgusting. Really, really disgusting. This is always the issue with people who play scaling champs on low elo. They're just so bad at the game, fundamentally. I've said it before. They have no idea how to play the game. All they know how to do is, like, hopefully get carried to, like, mid-late game and then stat check enemies. Still not a single ward bot lane. I just have to take every lane resource, I guess, because these guys aren't going to move out of lanes. You know what I mean? Like, look at this shit. Ah. He didn't die. Why is the only one still hitting him? Look at this thing. So useless. Slash, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. such a hard game. These guys are disgusting. He is actually up levels now too. Realist. Shit, it's gonna be such a long game. I'm gonna kill this guy here. He's gonna push the wave so that he can't like siege the tower too much. Get out of here. You have to mute these guys before I tell them to kill themselves. I should have fucking dodged, man. I was gonna dodge, but I dodged the last time I had a retard pick smolder already today. It's like this guy might figure out sooner or later that if he places his wards, right, he punched the can't. <laughs> smolder picked up the blue instead of Kale. Spastic was taking the fucking drone plan. It's griefing. Worthless pigs. Like I said before, I need to just take all lane resources because I can't go and invade enemy JG because my laners won't rotate. Yeah. So any lane resource that I can take, I must take. Okay. Play that pretty sketchily. Not actually that weak anymore. We have to get out of here because you can come and use fed as fuck. There he is. I might just sit here in case he comes because I have Kale ult. I don't trust Kale actually. Ah, this sucks because Kale's gonna get the uh, tower now. Which is not what I want. 
weapon. Oh, look at this degenerate. I was managing to die. It's so depressing because I did all the shit early game to, um, you know, allow them to just not have this situation with you, but just can't stop them from griefing. It becomes a point where they're just griefing too hard too many times. And the uh, champions are too useless. Yeah, I mean, like, look at what Smolder is doing right now. Shut down. He is coming. Oh, there we go. Much an issue every time these guys get the shutdowns. Makes it harder for me to carry. I want to see if I can sacrifice this guy. Oh. Yuck. Oh, he's dead. I don't know how. top you still 1k shot down I can go to this the only saving grace is just that we have Kale around and champion just broken late game but still you know, it's a huge issue for them to have like fed you running around I think this guy's going down multiple levels but I guess to come back I should never five down me, they're not good enough. Why are we giving bot wave state? Oh, there you go. Thank by ye. Oh, actually, that's kind of big. The only issue is that we're doing all this shit before the drag. Nice, that's one. Ah, another fucking wind wall. <laughs> this shit I gotta do, yeah. Got the triple kill, so that's really a big deal for us. I need to make sure that I get this drag, but I need teammates to come. Like, they're gonna contest this for sure, right? And, like, what the fuck is this guy even doing? Ah, oh, bro, it's so gross. I fucking hate you guys, man. Need to somehow get Baron here while Yi's dead. I'm just gonna keep trying to force my noobs to come. It's gonna be really hard work. Let's see if this little rat will take that. Um, do this. 
That's such a 1v9. These guys are fucking useless. Kill this guy, what? Oh, look, where's my KO? Oh, where is my KO? He's not hitting it, and it. So bad. He needs to stay and hold me. No ward. We have six wards on that guy, and none in the pit. You got DD, big issue for me, my damage, but I can't really go for Sam Pan, I don't think. Smolder dead. He's out, but he had to flash. It should be two kills, by the way. I swear they didn't have a red, right? No, they don't. I think this red is up. I think he is coming here, yes. Or Yasuo is on it. Oh my god, my auto is not going up. I must be misclicking. Fuck. Should have killed that you there. Fucking shit I'm having to do right now. Great smoke screen there. Good center. Need to get this base off. I keep paying my teammates to not enter. It's just no reason for us to fire right now. I have no GA, which makes me feel very, very exposed here. Yeah. Very sad I didn't kill that Yi. I feel like I, I just I must have done something wrong with like the autos or some shit. I don't know what it is. But like in my mind, I'm thinking I should have killed him there. And I don't have flash either, so no flash, no GA for this next fight, which is soul point again still for them. It's, it's an issue, but it is what it is. Let's go see what we can do here, boys. Kale, alt on me. Let's see if we can commit our teammates to not grieve. Get a clad alt in. Nice. Let's go. Where is he going to end up? Okay. Nice, got the flash already. Let's go here. What's my center doing? Freaky, freaky being. <laughs> freaky, freaky being. I'm raising my center is still mid. Get it. Soft stinting me, probably. I don't know, I had to mute them. What are you doing? Vomit inducing. I'm supposed to believe this guy's like a real player trying hard to like win. Let's go top, little bros.
do not know why we're born. Oh, I need boogeyman in these bushes. Should only be Yi or Mord here. Oh, we're going bot side JG. Into the Yi. Hello, little bros. Five top. Let's do it already. This shit. Senna has finally ordered someone. And what the fuck are we doing? Mod super low. And through top. Uh, I suppose you're pentakill. Anyway, glad to get away from these guys. What a disgusting thing. That was such a fucking infuriating and disgusting game. I hate these types of people. They all suck. Well, my bots suck the most. My top and mid are fine, but they're really bad. The other two are just gross. You can use trash champions and then grief in the game. Smaller players. Preacher stuff. Glad I did not ever have to see these guys again. This is the ruins for the game. Uh, I'm not going to play anymore for now. That was too tilting. All right. He has 20 wins, one loss. Um, yeah. Take care, guys. Peace out.